Siemens PowerMod with Quick System is a robust, flexible, and feature-rich line of modular metering. This video will cover advanced installation tips to supplement the instructions that come included with the product. If instructions are followed correctly, Siemens PowerMod can be installed up to 43% faster than our competitors' products. The WB Main Breaker module has a blank bottom end wall. This can be removed for easier installation. The bottom end wall should be reattached once the conduit is lined up and the appropriate holes have been cut in the plate. Sometimes a job may call for a unique lug solution. If compression lugs, a NEMA stud kit, or larger lugs than what come factory installed are required, then a lug landing pad can help in these situations. One tip to keep in mind when installing a lug landing pad is to perform this installation when the module is lying on its back on a flat surface prior to hanging the module on the wall. This makes unscrewing the tightly torqued screws easier. It may take a strong power tool or a tool with an extended handle to perform this action. In certain instances, larger ground lugs or a higher quantity of ground lugs may be required on a job. Some modules are compatible with ground lug extension kits, which can be used to increase the ground lug capabilities from what is factory installed. These kits can be purchased separately and installed in the field. All PowerMod service entrance main devices come with a neutral and ground bonded. If the module needs to be used in a non-service entrance application, the bonding strap between the neutral and ground must be removed. If you're unsure from which direction you'll be feeding your mains or tap boxes, it is best to use combination feed modules so that you can make that decision in the field. The C and CU suffixes in the catalog number indicate that unit can be fed from overhead or underground. Unlike the main breaker modules, the WTB tap boxes and WS switch modules with the C or CU suffixes are invertible. This means that these tap boxes can be rotated upside down to satisfy either feed direction. To do this, simply mount the tap box or switch with the hub openings pointed in the direction from which you plan to feed the module. Because the WTB tap box and WS switch are invertible, quick bolt assemblies are installed on both sides of the module. When you have the unit mounted on the wall, be sure to remove the quick bolt assemblies from the left side of the module so the bolts from the adjacent module will be able to protrude through those same quick bolt holes. An easy way to remove these assemblies is to use the PowerMod Mini Ratchet Set. This ratchet set provides an easier way to remove the screws that hold down the quick bolt assembly. Siemens 125 amp rated lever bypass meter stacks are very similar to their non-lever bypass stack counterparts. The neutral and ground lugs can be moved from the lower to upper positions, there is a pivoting rain gutter to increase working space, and the back plate is removable among other features. In 125 amp stacks that have three incoming phases and a single phase out, the meter positions can be rephased in the field. Keep in mind this does not apply to the 225 amp lever bypass stacks which must be factory phased. When installing three phase in, three phase out stacks, one of the most important things to be aware of is that all of the mounting hardware for the breaker is located in the components bag along the back wall of the unit. It is crucial not to throw this bag away until you are certain the contents are not needed. Be sure to remove the components bag from the enclosure prior to energizing. To install the QR breaker, place it on the mounting base Fasten it down with the two longer screws, and then use the short black screws to fasten the face straps to the breaker. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.